Hi everyone, it's Lauren from Single Barrel Soaps and today I'm going to be making a grown-up root beer float. So it's going to be a root beer float with soap with a little bit of bourbon splashed in. <laughs> so I'm going to get ready and I am going to pour my lye water into my melted uh, butters and oils. As usual, they're all within 10 degrees of each other. They've been hanging out overnight and it's 75 degrees in my office. So let's get started mixing. All right, so I am going to the base the main part of this soap is going to be brown. It's going to discolor to brown, um, but I do, I am going to add a little bit of coloring just in case, but I want to have three different colors for the foam on top. I'm going to do a little bit of white. So I have a, a picture I'll have to show at some point um, that I'm basing it off of. I don't want it to look like, but I want it to you know the root beer bottom with the ice cream kind of foam top and let's just do there we go okay I'm gonna put the color in everything so for the base I'm using bronze brown mica from nurture soap and as usual I'm just kind of guesstimating and this fright these fragrance oil combinations that I mix together should discolor but we'll see. So I'm gonna do Copper Penny Mica from Nurture, and I just want a tiny bit of this. I don't want too much. I just don't want it to be, I just want to add some depth to the color. And then Champagne from Mad Micas. A good amount of this in here. There we go. And then Honey Beige from Brambleberry. I hope I'm nailing these colors right. <laughs> we'll see. So I'm gonna start mixing from lightest to darkest and I'll speed this up. Okay, now I know I made a mix. I used a root beer fragrance oil and then one of my bourbon fragrances that I use. And I know the bourbon one accelerates. So I'm not sure about the root beer. I've never used it before. So I'm just trying to make sure all the colors are combined. I will mix it in. I'll mix the fragrance oil in with the stick blender. And I did add a splash of bourbon because I couldn't have, you know, bourbon root beer float without real bourbon in it. So I had a little bur bit of bourbon. So I'm just going to speed up really fast. So I'm going to mix it. Add the fragrance oil, mix it, and then put it right into the mold because I have a lot more to do with the design. So I'm going to speed this part up and probably not talk during it because I need to focus. <laughs> so let's go. Now it did rice a little bit, um, so I'm just going to blend that out. All right. So I'm going to pause real quick. I want to have this, the white in, kind of near the bottom. I'm just doing one swoop with that. That's all I wanted. And now I have some little cut up soaps and these are actually my tobacco and bourbon soap but I want them to look just to add a little texture so I'm gonna put these on top almost like chunks of ice chunks of ice cube and my phone is on because my kids are at school so I'm sorry if I get dinged All right. 
then I want to, I'm gonna clean this up. Oh my gosh, the phone's not gonna stop, I'm sorry. So you don't want it to be perfectly smooth, okay. We're back to do some piping and I just, yeah, I just really want it runny and kind of in the middle just to look a little bit like foam. Yeah. And I took the three colors and I mixed them together. That's what I want. All right, refill this. So I don't really want firm piping. It's not gonna look like whipped cream. I just want it to look like the foam, foamy part of a root beer float, the foam and the ice cream. didn't turn out piping. <laughs> I really didn't need to pipe because I ended up smoothing it all down anyway, but that's okay. I like how the swirl came out. I think this is going to look pretty good. All right, I'm going to keep playing with the texture and then I will bring the camera in for a close-up there. Hi everyone, we're back to cut uh, my grown up root beer soap. My bourbon root beer. I'm very excited about this. All right, and it's been about 24 hours, so everything should still be soft enough to cut, even with the cold process embeds inside. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like how the sides look. All right, let's try one from the middle. Yeep. <laughs> okay I love it I really 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 love it that is cut that is exactly what I was going for I wanted the different colors a little drop of like ice cream I love love the top and I like these in there too all right let's see if I can get all right so here's the soap and here is my inspiration picture. So I think we got the white and the brown. There probably could have been more white, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I love the colors up top and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna keep going through and pull these out and then I will stamp them and I will record that too. So I'll fast forward this part and then I'll get ready to stamp them. All right, let's get back to stamping. So I'm spraying it with rubbing alcohol and these are still pretty soft, so I'm just gonna find the middle and press firmly but gently. And I'll just continue to do this. So I will speed this up and bring you guys back at the end. how these guys turned out. I really just wanted the little drop swirl to be in the white, the different color cream on top. I love how the top looks. I'm really excited about these. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think down below. Thanks and have a wonderful day.